Uh, congratulations, Stephen. Thank on, you. Uh, on, on the theatre production. Um, so far, you've had standing ovations and, and great previews. You must be delighted with the reaction so far. Well, we're very encouraged, obviously. Um, We've been working away. No single audience has seen the same show <laughs> because we're in previews and so something changes obviously for every performance. Um, we've been learning a great deal and we think improving the show, but um, I have to say it, it makes that kind of work, it give, it, it's, you have much more energy when the audience is responding so favorably and you're not just saying, Ugh, what are we going to do? This is just not working. We can feel the audience enthusiasm and it kind of makes you want to just keep getting it better. So it, it's been a fun process consequently and yeah, we're very encouraged. When was the idea of the, the musical kind of floated at you? Because obviously we had the, had the film and everything else and I think it's been on Broadway before here or at least it's... No, no, oh, no, it hasn't. Uh, no uh, uh, um, this is the premiere of the sort of big definitive right. version. It, this has not played Broadway. Um, we have had developmental productions oh, of it okay. at a couple of smaller theaters, one, believe it or not, in Fredericia, Denmark, oh, wow. but it has not been um, anywhere near Broadway. Um, what happened was, you know, we made this movie at the end of the 90s and it was um, pretty well received. And then over the years, um, DreamWorks, the producers of the movie, um, began to get requests from various theater groups around the world, actually, saying, we would like to do a stage version of Prince of Egypt as one exist. Um, sometimes they just make their own illegally. Uh, and then after a while, DreamWorks came to the conclusion that there seemed to be an appetite for this. And so um, they got in touch with me as the songwriter of the original movie. They got in touch with Philip Lezebnik as the screenwriter of the original movie and then said, um, we want to put together a stage adaptation. Um, and then we basically started from scratch and just said, all right, well, if we're going to do this story now for a whole new medium, let's just think about how we do that and not just try and take a movie and put it on stage. So um, there's been a lot of development and it's been fun and exciting to to reimagine the story which is a, a you know a, a, an exciting story and one that I'm passionate about telling but just to reimagine it entirely for a new medium. Yeah. Have, they, have did DreamWorks ever give you a, a not so much a list of things but like did they say to you oh, if we get the songs in or we get these beats from the movie or did they kind of give you a free reign to kind of go and do we what had, you wanted? We had completely free reign to do what uh, we wanted to do. Obviously there's a whole series of developments so we would do readings and um, for a while Jeffrey Katzenberg when he was still um, at DreamWorks um, would come and see them along with the team and we would get notes and thoughts about this seems to be working and that doesn't. Um, you know even now uh, our producers, first of all our, our um, London-based producers, Michael McCabe and Neil Laidlaw, but also Universal Theatricals are, are responding to what they're seeing and saying this, you know, could be working better and maybe you'll reconsider that. But it's more in terms of helping us tell our story and communicate it in the most successfully theatrical way. There's been nothing prescribed is what I'm saying. The, the show itself seems like quite, as you say, quite a, a, an epic undertaking in terms of the sets and everything yeah. else. But the guys were saying, particularly just before, about the core of it is this story and the story of these brothers and this, this, this part of, of history, if you like. How important for you is it that, they, that the, kind of, the combination of the two works perfectly before you even think of you know, producing the play? Well, I think, you know, absolutely this needs to be at its heart um, a, a, an emotional story about real people and particularly the relationship between these two young men who are brothers even though they're not it turns out blood brothers to eat to their surprise um, who because of their individual destinies of which over which they have no control and these huge events in which they find themselves, they are put into very direct conflict with one another. So they love each other and yet they're in conflict with one another. 
how does that resolve itself? You know, that's the stuff of drama. And at its essence, that's what this story is about. And the, the film was quite um, groundbreaking in many ways because of what DreamWorks did. I mean, it was kind of a very grounded, very not, wasn't very Disney-fied in that sense. It was a very grounded, very quite raw um, animated film. But it seemed to touch a nerve of a lot of big audiences. Yeah. How, how have you guys gone about translating that to the screen or uh, to, the, to the stage? Or have you, have you, as you say, kind of just taken the story and the bits that you needed and gone, right, if we make sure we have these the epicness of the of the story will just allow us to to put it on the theater well i think that the animated feature was if you will more adult and a bit more nuanced in its characterization than what had heretofore been done in animation the show of course takes that considerably further um after all film is a very literal medium number one um so Doing things like parting the Red Sea or having a chariot race require a certain degree of theatricality. Um, that's, that's part of the fun. But beyond that, these are now three-dimensional people. Um, and consequently, we want them to be more nuanced, more complicated. You know, there are no villains. Um, there, everyone has his or her very strong point of view and motivations for behaving the way they are, and each person feels they're right, um, but they're in, in clashing with one another, which is, you know, animated um, stories tend to be like good guy, bad guy. Um, this is not that, and frankly, I think it's, it's even more not that, if that's even grammatically correct, than the movie. I, I think it's much more balanced than yeah. the movie. How have you enjoyed the challenge of, of writing some new songs? Because obviously you've got the, the Oscar winning song, uh, Will You Believe, and right. all that kind of stuff. How have you enjoyed the challenge of going back and creating some, some new, new songs and, and give it, giving it kind of a new energy? Well, um, it's been really fun to revisit that musical world and actually to go more deeply into the musical world. Um, one of the decisions we came to early was that um, for the show, we were really going to try to use some of the instruments of the region. Um, and also, I was going to try to write um, more in the harmonic scale of um, the Middle East. And, you know, the sort of style of singing is different. Um, and there's, there, that exists in the film, but we tried to push that further. So as a composer, that's been really a, a fun adventure for me. And I was just saying to the guys as well about how you know 21st century medium is very very visual for a lot of people, particularly young young people. And this, <coughs> the theatre gives them such a great avenue to explore uh, stories that they wouldn't perhaps explore, particularly in terms of history and the Bible and all, this, all that kind of stuff. I mean, how important is it to you that that young audiences and old come and see this show and 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 take all the themes and the the narratives and everything to to heart in terms of you know, they wouldn't maybe go and read read the Bible or something like that. Well, we've been very um, pleasantly surprised, if you will, um, by how many young people we have in our preview audiences so far. It's not really a typical West End audience. Um, it's, as I said, it's, it, there are a lot of young people there. Um, it's extremely ethnically diverse in the audience, as it is in our cast on stage. And we've heard from a lot of people that they don't, necessarily go to the theater all that often or this is the first show that they've seen etc um, and that's very exciting um, you know I think it's 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 great that we you know obviously we want the traditional theater audience as well and we hope we're delivering a show of that they'll recognize of having the kind of quality they want when they go to the theater but I like that we're expanding the audience and I hope we continue to do so Fantastic. and just as a final question <coughs> then, um, obviously um, You've been obviously involved with, with Wicked, and now there's going to be a, a film version, and that's kind of the opposite. Exactly. Uh, same as we've obviously recently we've seen with with, with Cats and Les Mis and everything else that um, it, it's quite a challenge to translate theatre to uh, film, whereas obviously you're doing the opposite with that. Um, how is that process going? Have you been involved in that process? Have they given you any indication of of showing you kind of what the film's going to look like? Or yeah, we're still early days with the film of Wicked, but um, we have our director, Stephen Daldry. We've been working with him. We're working on a screenplay. Um, but the, the approach, again, just what we did with Prince of Egypt, where we said, all right, we're in a whole different medium. Let's just start from scratch. 
how do we tell the story? We're doing the exact same thing with Wicked. How would you tell the story um, for film? There are things you can do in film that you can't do on stage. There are things that work on stage that absolutely do not work on film. So um, it needs to be reimagined, but that's, that's really fun and exciting. Fantastic. Absolute pleasure talking to you. Thank you, you so too. much for your time Thank today. You. Thank you so yeah. much. Pleasure. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, Is that yeah. from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey You Guys.